I'm Thaddeus Pope, the Fulbright Canada Research Chair in Health Law, Policy, and Ethics at the University of Ottawa. I provided a brief video update of my activities at the end of March. This video describes what I've been doing in April and May 2021. And I'm going to break this into publications, presentations, and consulting. So in terms of publications, I have two books coming out. Voluntarily Stopping Eating and Drinking, a compassionate, widely available option for hastening death from Oxford University Press, and The Right to Die, The Law of End-of-Life Decision-Making, where we just finished the second 2021 supplement. I have three book chapters coming out. Two are in International Perspectives on End-of-Life Law Reform from Cambridge University Press. My main chapter is Extrajudicial Resolution of Medical Futility Disputes, Key Factors in Establishing and Dismantling the Texas Advanced Directives Act. And I co-author a second chapter in the same book. And then there's a chapter in the textbook of Interdisciplinary Pediatric Palliative Care co-authored with clinicians titled Resolving Conflicts in Pediatric Palliative Care. And then there are five articles, Patient Decision Aids Improve Patient Safety and Reduce Medical Liability Risk, coming in the main law review. The, the up-to-date topic, Legal Aspects in Palliative and End-of-Life Care in the United States and the up-to-date topic, Physician-Assisted Dying. There's an article on conflicts of interest in medical decision-making, and an article on VSED in the American Journal of Medicine. In terms of presentations, in the past few weeks, in May 2021, I presented to the Visiting Nurse Service of New York about surrogate decision-making, and to the Weinberg Center for Elder Abuse Prevention on Advanced Care Planning. In the next few weeks, I'll be talking to the Canadian Bioethics Society about obstacles to made for dementia patients, about the evolution of informed consent law to the ASLME Health Law Professors Conference, and about advanced directives for VSED to the Arizona Bioethics Network. And then finally, at the end of June is a two-day conference on key policy issues in organ donation and transplantation, where I'll be talking about pre-mortem non-therapeutic interventions. In terms of consultation projects, there are several. Three are Canadian. The Definition and Determination of Death Project with these organizations and another with the International Donation and Transplantation Legislative and Policy Forum, and third with the College of Physicians and Surgeons of Ontario. And then there are three U.S. projects. Two are with the Uniform Law Commission. One is on the Study Committee on whether to revise the Uniform Determination of Death Act, and second on the Drafting Committee for the Uniform Health Care Decisions Act, and then third, uh, some expert witness work in California concerning uh, compliance with advanced directives. What's coming up in the summer? Probably four things. Uh, work on patient decision aids, payment incentives, and other incentives to get clinicians to use them, medical aid in dying, issues about self-administration and advance requests. V said as a backup to MAID, advanced requests for V said, and reciprocity of advanced directives. And then brain death, the UDDA versus the NDDA, and there will be written products coming out of the DDD and the IDTLF projects that I mentioned a moment ago. So thank you very much. This is me in Ottawa.